Heavyweight Showdown between Jorge Masvidal and Leon Edwards. decorated kickboxer back for more here tonight and he's so comfortable in the striking realm it's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing oh it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress i know when you're in kickboxing range you are in the fire there is no safety you're right in range to be getting knocked out but he does not fear that he loves it he loves the he loves the combat he loves the engagement what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, if you're just getting into fighting and you're looking for a fighter to support, you can do worse than Jorge Gamebred Masvidal, really a guy who's easy to root for and coming off some of the biggest wins of his career recently. He is starting to get everything right. For as long as Jorge Masvidal has been in this game, you always had the feeling that there was still work to be done in order to truly reach his optimal form. I feel like now he's finally getting it. And people overlook the fighter's mentality of Jorge Masvidal. We talked about Kimball Slice in the back there fighting, but Jorge Masvidal was right next to him. Right. He was back there fighting just for the sake of fighting. And he has done that in the octagon, and now he's finally putting it all together as he tries to make his way to a UFC title fight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Masvidal is seven years his senior. The rest of the numbers are close. And now for the Ladies particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Leon Rocky Edwards! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 14 losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. Ready. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Nice punch there by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Takedown defense holds up. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Straight right, he misses. All right, single collar tie now. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Oh! He needs 
start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Both fighters throwing heat now. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. So just over 20 total strikes have found the mark for Jorge Game Red Masvidal. And they separate. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll, he'll change his stance. Back to orthodox. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at the force behind that leg kick. Elbow from the clinch lands. Nice stick with the right hand. Well, for years, Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. Certainly showed you the hands there. I mean, he's showing it, man. I mean, this, I mean, he's showing it, John. This guy has an ability to stand and box with anyone in the UFC. And that was on full display when he beat Nate Diaz. Edwards gets caught by the straight punch. Ooh, what a punch. He blocks the punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Right hand punch from the clinch. Switching stances here. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge fight so far. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Start around two now, DC. Jorge Masvidal Ready. Ready. versus Leon Edwards. Right hand. Nice head kick. Big call for punch land. Now we get back to range. Nice job by Leon Edwards going to the kicking game now. Certainly earned the respect with his hands. Now changes the level. Full on mixed martial arts. Yeah. He can over the top. This fight's gonna be over. This what a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. He's in a good flow right now. He's landing big shots to the body. Going orthodox now. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, lands an uppercut to the head now, DC. Usually when you're the shorter fighter, you can land those types of shots. Look back to Mike Tyson in his prime. He landed those over and over again to put guys to sleep. So 41 total strikes have now landed for Jorge Masvidal. Well, not the greatest land percentage necessarily. 37% the accuracy thus far against Leon Edwards. Oh, single collar tie here. Stuff to take down, no problem. And there comes. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, he might be out. Big knee there. Whoa! Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Edward.
Edwards, his lower jaw now is starting to show some signs of swelling. We'll keep an eye on that, but a lot of damage absorbed by me in here tonight. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. 20 seconds to go round two. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. The ground and pound has been there all night. Oh, oh. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Ready, fight. Ready. Third round underway. Big kick land. Oh! Oh! He was hurt. So he was Go get him. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Down land is clean. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Closed guard. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Edwards is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Nice hammer fist. Nice stick with the right hand. Edwards going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. Nice stick with the right hand. We have now crossed the midpoint of this fight. Good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, the numbers continue to pile up. Seven. See the land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to be That is it. He's done. He's done. What a fight. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the victory by TKO. Huge result inside the octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 32 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Jorge Gabriel Well, can you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He left the judges out of it. The judges could have went to the concession stand because once he got his opponent hurt, he was not going to stop until he got that TKO.